starting off on Scorch Day can be very intimidating. Not only do you have the weather conditions that really do take its toll on you, but also the creatures around you. Now, being a beginner, there is one creature that is simple and easy to tame, and let's face it, it is pretty badass, especially if you can get a group of them. It is the Vulture. The Vultures are vicious. Now, they are not aggressive, but they are great for booby trapping your base. Soon as someone attacks you or a Vulture, the rest of them are gonna fling into action and just devour it. I'm not gonna lie, it's not the cutest shoulder pet, but it definitely is one of the most feared ones. So sit back guys, relax, and let's go tame ourselves a vulture. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just wanna make it last. Try to let go of the past. Don't close my eyes, embrace the blast. Sleepless nights and headaches die. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I grab? A slippery surface, I heard it time. And sometimes you just gotta believe. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Axe Survival of the Bold, and we're here on Scorched Earth again. We're going to be taming our second creature today, and it is the Vulture. Now, unlike usual, I already have a few Vultures already, and the reason being I want more is because I want to booby trap my entire base, or my little shack, as I say. So, let's get into it. So, the one thing about the Vultures is they are super easy to tame, and you don't need no weapons, you don't need no equipment or anything like that. They're passive tame, so you don't need to trank anything or anything like that. Plain and simple, all we're going to need is some taming food. Now, we just need to get some spoiled meat. That is the best thing that you can get for these guys. And for our dino companion, doesn't have to be a raptor, doesn't have to be anything really. But I'm going to take my raptor just because the places that the vultures are located can be a little bit dangerous. So I'm going to take a raptor for backup. So when it comes to the location of the vultures, they are located in the open areas around Scorched Earth. You can see in the desert areas, this is where you'll find them. And they're very common as well, guys. You'll find a bunch of them. Oh my god, I thought that was like a different type of rock like that I could harvest, but it turns out it's, it's just a rock golem, it's just a rock golem, let's get out of here. Hey, we've got a lot of vultures here, but I've also got a rock giant after me, so I'm going to try and run away. Okay guys, so we've made it roughly to an area where there's quite a lot of vultures around, and hardly anything dangerous. Now the first thing you should note with uh, with vultures is they don't care about us, look, you can see they don't actually care, look I've stood in front of it. It ain't bothered, you see it even took poop. And you can see it says, place your taming food in the last slot of your inventory. So we get our spoiled meat. We put it over here in our slot. And that is literally it. We should be able to tame this guy now. There's no, no strategy behind it. You can jump up and do it. Oh, he's a higher level, so he's took one. Some, most of the time these guys literally are just what? Feed them once and that's it, they're yours. You get the hard, the odd uh, high level one that will obviously need more than one to tame, like this guy. What are you? There we go. Look at that. Simple as. Oh, you're already, you're already mine. Literally, I just run around and just do this, literally. I'm not, ah, so close. So the thing with vultures is, one, they are easy to tame, so we just run along. Boom. Oh, he needs uh, feeding again. These guys will not attack you. The only time these guys will attack you is one, if you hit them, or two, there is some food. Now, you might just be the perfect example. Thanks for coming. So if I can kill this guy, this is where they may attack me. Let me, uh, I want to get back over here where he is. There we go. So now you'll see they come hostile against me. There we go. He's, he's coming for me now. Look, you can see they will attack me now because there is... Ah! There's food in the vicinity. And they basically want it, so they're trying to attack me and get me away from it. Uh-oh. I need help. Guys, are you going to help me? No, you're not even going to help me? Okay. And that one. That one. There we go. What? Oops. I hit my own... 
You can see the good in dog fights as well. I don't know what's going on up there. So here we go, we've got some, we've got a bunch of them now. I reckon I could easily get these. There's one. I don't know what's going on over here, but nope. You, you, yes, there we go. So we just feed any that come around. And there we go, we've almost got a load of them. There we go, we've got another one over here, just stood staring. So they do eventually land, guys, you can see. Boom, look at that. How many have I got now? <laughs> it's going for it. There we go. Look at that. Got loads. Oh, we're all attacking here. Uh oh, that one's going to attack me now, isn't it? Is it going to attack me? No, it's not. It don't want none of this. Hey, you. Do you want to be my friend? Yeah, it does, though. There we go. Look at how many we've got in literally a spam of a few seconds. Look at them all. Oh, we've got another one over here. And there we go. This is why they're so easy. Ah, oh, I'm dehydrating. No. There we go. We've got loads of them. Let's hope that there's something over here for us to drink. So guys, one thing about vultures is they will not attack living creatures at whistle command or anything like that look you see we're whistling attack that creature it doesn't want none of it oh damn i forgot about my raptor there we go can i borrow you yeah of course i can so if we do it on this scorpion there we go they don't care but if we let it attack us or our teams they will literally manhandle it it's pretty decent actually Let's get the, get one of these guys. So here we go. It's going to attack us, and now our vultures are going to literally annihilate it. Boom! Oh, they're both attacking. And just like that. All right, here we go. We've got some of these now. I could even attack. Look, if we look. I could even attack that. Nothing. It's not until it gets attacked or it attacks me or any of my creatures that they attack. Just like so. Boom. Perfect. Let's get these guys back to our base. We need to get back to our base. Let's get back there. Oh, there we go. We've got some uh, some centipedes. Just watch out for the acid spit. There we go. There we go. Oh, one of our, uh, one of our birds is... Oh, two of them are down from the stinger. Oh, damn. We've got to wait here until they get up, haven't we, really? Oh, wait there. We've got a few of them down over there. What have we got? We got... Oh, wait there. They're all dropping like flies. Oh, my God. So, if you're traveling on a dangerous route and you get attacked, by an Argentavis in this example. The good old vultures are great because now look, boom, look at that. So as I demonstrate guys, vultures will not attack living creatures, but dead corpses, however, that's their favorite. They will go devour anything that's dead, like so, there we go. And a little treat there for you all as well. They love it, just like vultures in real life. Okay, guys, so I finally got back to my base, and look, you can just see all my vultures are scattered around, and there's a good reason for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here, and I believe there's some wraps over here. I want to I say there is anyway. Uh, there was anyway some wraps over here, and obviously not now. They've decided to do one. So you imagine you're getting chased by a raptor. It's hot on my tail, I believe. Where is it? He's right behind me as well. So we get into our base area. And this is it. The second something comes in and hits anything of yours, the vultures will literally swarm in, kill it, and then just go back as if nothing ever happened. Like so. I need you to go away, though. You need to stop doing their job. I am going to set this guy to passive, though. 
Now, as well as bolts just being really good protection bodyguards for your base, you can also pick them up and have them on your shoulder, as obviously you saw in the beginning. We can have them on our shoulders. Fortunately, these aren't anything like the Jaboas where they actually decrease the weight of anything. They're just cool shoulder pets, I guess. And just for those of you that are wondering, if you do take these and take them on to aggressive, they still won't attack anything. There we go, look, and if I whistle, oops, get lost. There we go. If I whistle, anything like that, it will not, these guys just will not attack anything unless it is dead or it attacks you first. So that has been it for me and my vultures, guys. They are very simple, but very easy to tame. Like I say, you can tame literally hundreds of these in literally like, what, half an hour. I'm not even joking. All you've got to do is find a group of them and you can literally tame them. They are really good, especially like I say, to protect your base. They could be like your first line of defense or your last, whichever one. But these guys are great, especially for you beginners like me. I've just started on Ark. I got lucky with my Raptor at the beginning so that was my line of defense first time but if not definitely go for a vulture vultures are so awesome at defending your base they have saved my bacon from raptors numerous times wandering into my base and just getting picked apart but if you did like the video don't forget to like and subscribe and share guys you know it helps me out a bunch and i'll see you all in the next episode we're broken, it's tragic, we're not all elastic, but maybe there's magic, believe you could have it, and I know of sadness, the anxious in panic, the infinite vastness of all